Hi there, Logic Language Learners. Every now and then a video request comes in that I am so excited about. <laughs> and uh, I have had a video request from um, Kimberly. So I guess if you watch my channel, you are not somebody who's afraid of a few curse words, a few swear words. But just to be absolutely clear, this video is going to be using a lot of them, okay? But it's not just for the purposes of swearing and cursing all the time. It's that in French, swearing and cursing doesn't quite have the same... Well, in other words, we don't use the word fuck um, and one word as often as we use fuck in English. So fuck is the most flexible word in in English. We can say a noun, an adjective, uh, an adverb, you know, uh, it, it just goes everywhere, you know? It really does go everywhere. And a lot of those alternatives, and there's, it's strong emotion. So it's really important to be able to express yourself. As a general rule, it doesn't get quite as vulgar in French as it gets in, in English. So um, to answer Kimberly's question, I'm going to do a video all about the different ways of saying fuck, which sounds really puerile and silly, but is actually really important French. So I thought what, whenever I do these clean up videos where I go through all the vocabulary of a certain word, I often like just for the purposes of you guys being able to read as well, I like to follow one of the uh, dictionary websites so that you can look at that as well. And then I'll give you my comments on that and then I'll add some other ones. So if you have a little look at the fuck word on wordreference.com. So I will attach that underneath. And then if we work our way through the list and we will talk, I will talk to you about what we're reading with that. So that should basically make life a little bit easier. So. Um, let's go through some examples. So first things first, um, to fuck, yeah, uh, and a fuck and all of this business. So let's talk about the difference. One of the main complications is the most common verb for fuck is baiser. Can we be very clear? We are saying baiser with a z sound, not baiser, B-A-I-S-E-R, which is to lower, like lower the volume, baisse le volume. Nor are we saying uh, basé as in based. Luke is based in Europe. Luke est basé en Europe. We are saying baisé. Now, one of the first sources of confusion is that un baisé is a kiss. Completely harmless word, not remotely offensive, not remotely rude or vulgar, un baisé. So you're like, how could just the placement of the word take it from being completely innocuous and acceptable and innocent to being slightly vulgar? It's very historically interesting. It's to do with what happened with the verb embrasser and how that moved from hug embrace into kissing somebody. And there was a sort of movement at the time for the verb baiser to go from being to kiss to being to pas. And, and you can chart that in recorded examples of French writing about, um, I think it's about 200, 300, no, 300, 400 years ago. But either way, un baiser is a kiss and baiser is the verb to fuck. So if we look at the examples that are there, uh, we've got, so baiser, we've also got Nike. There's a French band which is called Nique ta mère, fuck your mother. That is from the word fornique, as in to fornicate. Yeah? So pardon the example, do we have time to fuck before they get here? Uh, on a le temps de baiser avant qu'il arrive? Uh, yeah, so baiser is your main verb. It is offensive. Baiser, Nike. So we are talking now about the act of having sexual intercourse, having, having relations with somebody. So for example, I fucked to fuck somebody is se faire. Alors moi je vais me faire, I'm going to do myself that person. Um, or moi je vais me taper. Se taper you can use another, you know, oh I'm going to get a whole tub of ice cream. Alors moi je vais me taper tout le temps. You know, you can, so but that kind of language is, is very like do that person, avail yourself of that person. Okay. Uh, so not the best, you know, in the ide ideology, not just the vulgarity. Um, uh, enculé literally comes from in the ass of. So sexual habits to one side. Um, so Harry murmured in Sally's ear that he really... I like how they've gone with when Harry met Sally. That he'd really like to fuck her. Donc, Harry a murmuré à l'oreille de Sally qu'il avait très envie de la, de la baiser, okay? Or de la niquer, okay? Next thing, that figuratively can be used as in, oh, they've really fucked me over. 
Okay, as in, you know, they've, they've treated him badly, okay? And again, we could use baiser or niquer in that concept, okay? Oh putain, ils t'ont trop baisé, ils t'ont trop niqué, they've really fucked you over, okay? There are obviously other ways of doing it. We talked a few weeks ago about se foutre de la gueule de quelqu'un, okay? Ils se foutent de ta gueule, they're taking the piss. But that would be that. Next up, we've got fuck as an expletive, as in ah, fuck, okay? And examples that are obviously there are merde, which you know is shit, which is not as strong. Putain, which literally means whore, okay? Now, we will see putain later on if you use fucking with a noun. So this fucking table, you know, it would be ce putain de table, okay? Um, it would be, uh, it, that, would, that, that would come up. So you will see um, uh, that, 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 that word comes up um, quite, quite commonly. So it's kind of like um, you, you will insert putain de before the noun, really, you know. So um, to be honest with you, if you've got fucking a verb, you'll use, you'll use uh, something else. If you've got fucking a noun, you use putain de, okay? Sorry, I've just lost my place. So if you're saying fuck, I said, oh, fuck, you will say putain. You could also use a, a polite form, which is punaise, which literally means drawing pin, like you stick in a wall. But it's just to avoid saying, oh, fiddlesticks, oh, sugar, rather than saying fuck or shit or whatever. Okay, so that's punaise. That is where sacré bleu comes from, which people never say apart from little cartoon characters, but at the time it was an alternative to saying sacré Dieu, sacred God, which would obviously be profanity and blasphemous and taking the Lord's name in vain. Uh, tabernacle, you're going to see down there, that is a French Canadian expression, okay, which, and I'm not somebody who teaches particularly French Canadian expressions unless I've got a student who's, who's either based over there or who um, is going to be working over there. Okay, so that is not an expression you'd use. So putain de merde is really common. Whore of shit. Oh, fuck off, oh, putain de merde. Okay, there's loads of, you know, putain de race maudite de, you know, de, whatever. Bordel, I'd insert at that point. Bordel is a brothel. It's also a mess. If you say something is messy, say bordelique. Oh, bordel, putain de bordel. De, you know, these are all expressions that get used expletively for fuck. Okay. Um, uh, French people I know who live in London really enjoy the word fuck because they like they like the consonant of, of fuck. They like that. Okay. But putain has got another good consonant. A lot of swear words have good strong consonants. A fuck, as in she was a good fuck, he was a good fuck. Okay. Or to have a fuck is obviously une baise. Un coup, it's a bit bland, but yeah, okay. So you can obviously use it like that, okay. Um, he's a stupid fuck, he's a dumb fuck. It's your generic word for insulting a person. So we have con, connard, con, or connasse. These words are linked somewhat to the word c-u-n-t, but they're not as offensive. So these words are also, they have one foot in stupidity and one foot in being an idiot, be, 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 being an asshole, being an asshole. So, for example, if I went, oh putain, je suis trop con, as an adjective, I'm so stupid. No suggestion of me being horrible. Oh putain, c'est un con, c'est un con. You know, like it can also be he's he's an asshole. So it's kind of a bit stupidity, and it's a little bit um, mean, horrible person as well. There's an adjective, there's a noun of that, connerie. Yeah. Arrête Connery, stop your bullshit. If only Sean Connery knew, well, he might know, that Connery means bullshit in French, okay? Um, so the male ones are con or connard, and the female ones are con and connasse, okay? Uh, so I can't stand him, he's such a fuck. Je le supporte pas, c'est vraiment sale con. A dirty, it doesn't mean a dirty C-U-N-T, it just means c'est un sale con. It doesn't mean he's dirty anymore, it just literally means in French that he's a complete and utter asshole. Okay, he's a real fuck. Okay, uh, um, 